So with Golden Week upcoming, I do actually want to talk about the potential EZAs we could receive for the celebration. Now, I think there are actually a couple of choices we can see uh, for this 23rd Budokai, you know, World Tournament kind of theme, World Tournament Saga, whatever it's going to be, whether it's the 22nd or 23rd, right? Presumably the 23rd is what we're all thinking, but um again just based around the theme right we know that it's going to be goku and his friends trying to reach for the top of the world tournament so likely that's o og dragon ball since you know in the other tournaments in like dragon ball z or even gt they're not really aiming to win the tournament so at least that's my personal interpretation of that and now we're just going to go through just the dragon ball saga category and the world tournament category and first and foremost, I just want to talk about this guy. So this guy actually does look like he's going to EZA and I'll bring up the reason why, right? Uh, I know a lot of people maybe be like, oh, what do you mean Prime Battle Krillin is going to get an EZA? At the very least, we know on GP because on GP, there's this mission of coming. Let's awaken Krillin to an LR and then make him part of the Summit Battle Spirited Earth defense, right? So what that means is this is the same mission we got for basically every single LR that is going to EZA. Prime Battle Cell got that mission not too long ago and look at that. We actually got Prime Battle Cell's Extreme Z Awakening back when Super 17 did come out. So it's going to be the same thing here with this Krillin. This Krillin is going to EZA. Now I wouldn't anticipate him to be really that great but I would expect him to be actually be on the 200% leader skill or at least the 170% leader skill for the Goku. So maybe Goku could lead Turtle School and then like a 200% to Earth Bread Fighters right or something like that could be what i would anticipate for that um this krillin i would honestly just say he might just be a world tournament unit. now he was always kind of a world tournament unit, but maybe they give him stacking defense here as well um maybe they make this additional super attack easy to get off somehow or they give him another super attack chance obviously make this all like m like percentage stats is what they're likely going to do that's what they do for these primordial easies they make this all percentage i don't know how good he's going to be but i think he could be a solid option and we don't really have a good krillin in the game right now so this could be helpful for us right just getting an actual good krillin easy I, I would love to see that right now taking a look at dragon ball saga specifically I mean, first and foremost, we could get this guy, right? I mean, this guy, they could bring back the Path to Power Kid Goku, like, event. And then we get this guy to actually, um, uh, like, get his easy A. I think that could be interesting. Or maybe when Kid Goku returns. I don't know if Kid Goku will return this banner. I'm pretty sure it's the banner after Golden Week that is when, no. It's like, yeah, Kid Goku, has he already returned, Kid Goku? Actually, yeah, he has already returned, right, on this uh, last banner. Yes, Kid Goku. Wait, yeah, Kid Goku was on Kale's banner. Right, 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 right. Okay, never mind. So, I, who knows when Kid Goku will return? But again, but I mean, they could always bring back this Yam to an easy Yam. He could be a pretty interesting option there. Uh, LR Goku and Rally. I think they have a really nice shot at getting an easy A. They could be, you know, just a nice solid rainbow orb changer for the team. This, if they make this different somehow, where it's like the damage reduction is activated before the attack and it's like 59 percent reduction and then they give like starter turn defense they make this defensive ability then with the greatly raised defense for the turn like this unit could potentially cook and they could be a really strong slot one unit for some of these teams so hopefully they do get an easy i think that could be really really cool to see i don't think any of these units down here were easy a they're all world tournament award units and we just got piccolo not too long ago and the world tournament just ended uh, so I wouldn't expect them to easy a for sure. I mean, yeah, I don't think any of these guys will easy a now these two right here this Jackie Chun and the Demon King Piccolo Very easily we can get sub easy a's for these guys And I think you know this Demon King Piccolo could be good for the you know my junior We got the int Demon King Piccolo to easy a right uh, this guy actually just got his easy a from the JP world tournament does actually support my junior right here but he could be a nice solid option and might share a couple of good links with my junior this unit and again the same thing maybe they give him some sort of support he gets weaker from the sixth turn but the thing about events is that most events don't really last beyond that like at least most of the difficult events right now maybe we'll get some longer event or maybe to make up for it they give this guy like stacking defense so even when his passive runs out like well i guess 
he has a defense stays the same the whole time it's his attack that runs up but they'll probably add like defense there um that could be interesting but i could see that you know he's like stacking maybe like stacking attacking defense or something or just stacking defense so that after the buff runs out maybe he's least less weak you know um i should explain it he's less strong offensively but then better defensively right is what i'm trying to say right it could be an interesting you know thing for this guy this roshi again the biggest thing about him is that he loses the defense stuns himself but then he performs a guaranteed crit and gets 620 percent attack when he first uses this super attack i mean if they give him starter turn attack that multiplicate of buff is gonna go absolutely insane and he probably would hit very very hard like if they make even just a hundred percent attack start a turn you know how much of a buff that would give to this with easy a stats that would be really crazy um and then what they could do maybe is that after he does the mafuba make him like have damage reduction or something so like while obviously the mafuba doesn't do that mega damage like after that first turn where he uses this ability he's able to um you know essentially have uh how do i explain it like damage reduction or maybe just always damage reduction just in general so that you know he just loses the defense but he still has the reduction right that could be really good um beyond that like beyond these two guys getting their easy a like who else could easy a here we just got this boma easy a, which is a quite solid option Again, yeah, I don't really see anyone else here in Dragon Ball Saga getting an actual easy A, so that's the thing about that. Now, World Tournament has some extra options for easy A's, right, that they could definitely just put out for us, especially if we get a new World Tournament category. And I wouldn't honestly say anyone here either. I mean, maybe this guy gets an easy A for some reason, right? The Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man. Like, they had a Hero Extermination event, stays there, and he can get an easy A. Um... And then who else could he easy a with i don't know they usually do like batches of two at a time yeah i'm not sure who else they would do that gohan with uh, that's like a unit you could actually summon not from what i'm taking a look here but there's two super strikes here that i think could potentially get an awakening and that is this right here so we have the jackie chun which is again we have the lr jackie chun that just got easy aid but this guy could obviously still awaken that easy as well um he's a tech type support so i mean if the new like you know goku's tech type and then this guy supports him for like you know 35 percent attacking defense and some key that could be interesting uh he does the bangkoku bqd show which is not obviously the evil katima weight this guy is from the wave i almost said wave but the evil katima wave this guy's obviously from the 21st budokai Tekechi from when he fought goku and um this has been like you know he was holding goku in the sky and then goku actually saw the moon and stuff like that right then there's this tau which i think could be more uh, like of an option right um we know that tau does obviously participate in the 23rd budokai against tien and he actually defeats um chaotsu in the you know like the uh, it's not like the preliminaries but before the actual top eight right he defeats chaotsu right here uh, he could potentially get an easy a it makes sense because like i i would as assume if it's like the 23rd budokai like um let me actually bring it up here there's an image for that but if it's a 23rd budokai i would assume all the participants is going to be like represented in some way or another right so here is this right here right we have all the participants here i mean i could see again like tau getting an easy a and then maybe chi chi like gets a free to play unit and like a new story event right that could be something and then maybe goku and then banning it like tian and um like go or it could be like yam to get a free to play unit i guess right and then goku who fights tian and uh chi chi those two other banning units and then piccolo who gets krillin and shen as his banner units and so there are the characters that he fought if that makes sense right that's talking about more so the banners but maybe we could see like a chi chi free to play unit that easy a's and then tau is the only one left out we could just get cyborg tau to have his you know uh, super strike easy a and then he could just fit on the team and i think that could be an interesting option as well like buffing this world tournament team and making him quite good i mean if we get eight like really good world tournament units like this just makes the world tournament team so much better i think considering we have jackie chun who's really good already existing there as a support unit 50 percent for the world tournament category team and three key right could be really interesting 
um, there's not really else anyone that's else here that's good. Wow, I'm like, wow. I actually cannot speak this video, can I? There's not really anyone else here that is good, but that's why we have like you know a second category that could fit it. But like, if they give all eight of these characters like representation, the world tournament category could become quite nice. Now, I do want to end it off here with Physical Piccolo. I think Physical Piccolo has a really, really good shot at getting an easy A as well. Uh, just because, like, there's no other Sunwool unit that really fits the theme here that can get an easy A. And I would assume they give us an extreme Z battle. I mean, they could also just easy A just a random character like LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, right? But I think this guy would be a very fitting easy A just because of, you know, Piccolo Jr. He would link with them. He has the scouter, he's healing, he stacks defense. Like, he has a really good starting, I mean, like, how do I explain it? A really good baseline. He even has the damage reduction post-transformation. Um, They can make this guy really good if they wanted to. And I could see this guy being quite a nice option on so many of these teams, right? So he would be a really, really nice easy A. Maybe they give him support before he's transformed. And then after he transforms, he's like more of a tank, damage reduction, healing unit, right? I would love to see that with this Piccolo, but that's pretty much it. Um, let me know what you guys would like to see in terms of easy A's, what easy you're most excited for. World Tournament Saga, Dragon Ball Saga. We should see details of this again next week. I mean, early is the 23rd, but that's really stretching it. I think like the 25th is when we should expect the details for everything. So I don't know. That's it for me. Uh, thank you all for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.